Keanu. Uh, your mom? My mother. Your mother? Uh, yes. No, she was English, wasn't she? Yeah. And she was a costume designer. Yeah, she was, yeah. But we've got a, a pitch. She apparently... Oh, my gosh. Okay. I know. She designed what wow. Dolly is wearing on this. Wow. I love this show. <laughs> this, but this outfit was in your house. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wore that for Halloween. <laughs> You're not joking, are you? No. <laughs> but Dolly is famously... I mean, how did you... There was some room. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you go wearing that? Did you, like, did you go door to door? Did you trick and treat in it? Well, I wasn't, like, 14. It's, you know, I was 16. Uh, what did I do? I got on public transportation. Well, the thing was, I didn't have the shoes. So I had that whole thing. I had the ears, I had the bow tie, I had the top. I didn't have the cuff link. And then it was the stockings that I didn't shave my legs, and I was wearing these really ratty sneakers. And then I was on the streetcar going to this uh, FET uh, Halloween party at the performing arts high school that I went to. And did you have this with you? I was wearing it. It was winter. I was there. I was like But no, that. because you'd have to have this with you so people knew just how cool your costume was. I know. It was well made. Yeah. <laughs> Can't, no, no. No. Come on. No. Yeah. I want your full <laughs> attention. Will you have it? <laughs> That's a, where did you guys find this? It's mine. <laughs> Trade it for your motorbike. <laughs> I fell off that. <laughs> On Silence of the Lambs, is it true that the, did you never speak to Anthony Hopkins? No, never spoke to him. Uh, he was scary. I mean, uh, the first day we had a reading, we had like a little read through, and we I got there early, and then I went to the bathroom, and I came back. Everybody was sitting down. We did the read through of the of the film. And by the end of it, I never wanted to talk to him again. I was <laughs> petrified. Um, and so then we did the whole movie. He was always behind those, the glass partitions, or he was in his cell. And because the scenes were so long, they'd kind of lock him in at the beginning of the day. And he'd go there. And then the next day, he'd be on the other side, and I'd be, I, and I'd be on this side. And we got to the end of the movie, and it really had never had a conversation. But you never passed backstage in a car? No, I avoided him. <laughs> You've now forged this, you know, career as you know, you know, as the scream queen, Jenny yeah. Curtis. But then your mom, I Janet know. Lee, I know. famous. I mean, she was the original scream queen in, in Psycho. Yeah. Oh. And so, was it weird that your first movie was going to be a, a horror? Yeah, but you know, the truth of the matter is, it's just a fun curio. But horror fans are as loyal as yours. Mm -hmm. And when you were talking about how you felt when those people, I am on what I call affectionately the victory lap European tour for Halloween. I'm just going around high-fiving everybody I meet <laughs> because the same things with horror fans, the same exact thing, the amount of love and appreciation for these movies. I don't know why people like to be scared, but. When you were talking about it, it made me... I was sitting here thinking, that's exactly how it feels to be in a Halloween movie. They love it, and they show their love back to you with this tremendous love and support for these stories that they seem to love. So, in the exact same way that you felt that gratitude with your bandmates, I feel it on my victory lap yeah. JLC around the world <laughs> tour, which I'm in the middle of and having a blast. You don't like these films. Sorry, guys. I'm not a fan of horror. Support the film, yeah. Tom. <laughs> I'm such a wuss when it comes to this kind of thing. I would be the worst horror movie director you could imagine. No. But no, but that's weird because John, you didn't like these films. No, not at all. I, I, am, I think the technical term is a scaredy cat. <laughs> and, um, I never saw horror movies growing up. Uh, I was too terrified. And obviously, I'm a huge horror fan now. If you saw my iTunes list over the last year, you'd say, I think we have a problem. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it's, uh, it's phenomenal. I, I don't think I'm, my name is the one that you see and say, can't wait to see a horror movie from that guy. But the original script came to me, and it's actually uh, an incredible story of family. And so it's, to me, you can't tell by looking at the poster. We can show that again. Um, but it is a love letter to my kids. It's, a, it's about what would you do uh, as a parent? What, what extremes would you go to to protect your kids? And it, is this true that this film you originally weren't going to be in? Well, we had just had our second child, and I was about to do Mary Poppins, and so I was in a sort of fe general feeling of joy. I didn't know if I wanted to go towards the darkness of the pitch that he'd given me for this film. <laughs> and then I, I'd mentioned a friend of mine to John when he pitched me. I said, oh, you should call so-and-so. And, um, and so he So-and-so is so good. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, so he did call so and so, and you didn't send her the script. Admittedly, she wasn't sort of hired, but um, so close. But so close. <laughs> and then I read the script, and I was like, "You need to call her and fire her." <laughs> are you still friends with her? We are until the movie comes out, and then she's like, <laughs> "Because normally it was something so, so kind of computer animation and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of green screen and stuff, but you actually went to locations." Yeah, I do think actually it's the great uh, Jordan Vert Roberts who directed it. Really was insistent that we go to places on Earth which are both beautiful and dangerous. Um, so that it didn't feel like a digital environment. It felt like a real place. So we went to um, Oahu in Hawaii. Dangerous. Scary. <laughs> I'm terrifying, <Yeah>. Tom. <laughs> It's very windy. Yeah. Very windy. <laughs> um, we went. The to... umbrella blew out of my cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we went to uh, Queensland in Australia. That's where, scary. I'll give you that. Yeah. They, they, there are rainforests there, <laughs> and they have the most. Um, all the most dangerous animals in the world are in the state of Queensland yeah. in Australia. Mm. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, um, snakes, spiders. <laughs> Some of Queensland are going. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I escaped. Um, and, <laughs> You know, and you'd see the funnel web spiders starting to... Oh. Jesus. Um, oh, like oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Yeah. They, the people saying come to Australia, they've got the... No. You're right, they've got the most poisonous spiders, snakes, jellyfish, yeah. sharks, yeah. crocodiles, and they walk around in flip-flops. Yeah. And I think... Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I, that's, I, why, that's why all the men look so... like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> it, it, yeah. just, they have to. They have to look They're like They're fighting them. for their lives. Yeah. Yeah. You had a proper terrifying encounter, the sort of thing oh. Kevin would not like this. Yes. So, <laughs> I'll try and speak slowly so that everyone understands. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were filming in South Africa, and unbeknownst to me, the, uh, some of the South African crew had been filming what is known as a sack spider uh, crawling up and down out of this tree. So, the sack spider's in the tree, they're filming it, filming each other. I've got footage saying, this is terrifying, look how terrifying that is. <laughs> no one told me. I run out of the, uh, the building, everything's a secret, so I can't tell you what building. Oh. I run out of the building into the wilderness as this... Sack spider just crawled down. You got down my face. Shitting me. On the <laughs> and went ba 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 ba, and I ha ah, beep 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 beep. <laughs> I, I, I absolutely bricked it and cannot repeat what I said. The costume was off, and our first AD, the first assistant director, was English. Pretty casually, just picked it up and chucked it as all the South Africans went, no, 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 no! And then we found out I could have died. Wow. <laughs> I didn't, it didn't even bite me. <laughs> but if you Google a sack spider bite, mm. it is awful. I, it's mm. a so big, that is a it, better is it like story. Hairy? I, is it ugly? Like, it's like it's... got a really big body and it's got and the, big balls. But it was it's a sack. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sack. No, no, it's a sack. It's not that. It's back. Like that. Yes, it's, back. It's, it's no. a sack spider. Not the balls. <laughs> no. Everything has to be explained to you. Like you just don't understand. <laughs> it's it's, that it's, it's not... got poisonous balls. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, it's making the story a bit different. It's yeah. not, isn't it? <laughs> different for you. So the spider's balls. Yes. <laughs> we asked the audience about their biggest fears, and uh, let's uh, let's just delve amongst. Just them a now. warning before you say anything. <laughs> Ruffalo will take you down. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So hands up if you've got a if you've got a, a fear. We ask people. Uh, to, to, nice lady here. What's yours? Um, I'm actually afraid of sperm in places it's not supposed to be. I'm a forensic scientist. So... <laughs> what? You're a forensic scientist? Yes. So, but but where? So is... I find it in really weird places, and I, I feel like it's everywhere, and it freaks me out. I think you should have your couch checked out. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so what's your name? Dean. Dean, okay, come out here, Dean. Put your hat down. Okay, stand up there. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, let's, bring the, let's bring the lights down. Let's Is bring the lights here? down. Let's bring the lights down. <laughs> okay. Oh! She's great, Dean. She's great. Well done, Dean. Well done, the lady. There you go. Boss is 
is one of those characters that d does delight people. And uh, even this Halloween, uh, so people were dressing up as Moss from the IT crowd. Oh, right. And uh, the, you, might have, you must have seen this picture. There was a little girl. Do you know this? Well, look, it's a cheap costume. It's a check shirt. Oh, no, <laughs> don't, don't, don't dash her dreams. I will not. <laughs> this is a little girl in America, and she's a big fan. And for Halloween, she went as Moss. What? She's got the computer, the, the calculator, watch, and everything. That's yes. Brilliant. That's good, right? Oh, it, the emotional <laughs> range is too large, though. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to kind of dial it back a bit. <laughs> I also spoke to her. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you've got to get the... <laughs> yeah, but can we just say how pleased we are that Bill's here at all? Because yes. there was a time when you were dead. That's right. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. I'm looking a lot better now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. It's right. No, well, this is. I'm, I'm sure that this is referring to the fact that uh, I was mistakenly reported as dead on the BBC website. <laughs> but not the BBC. Not yes. even like that. Not. I know. It was the BBC website, and um, it just said uh, tributes are pouring in for. Actor and comedian musician Bill Bailey, who has died at the age of 52, which is really annoying because they, they got the age wrong. Firstly, <laughs> I was so annoyed about that, and they used a weird photo as well. I was thinking, well, no, is this you, the photo? You, tweet, you tweeted oh, this. Oh no! I mean, what is that? I think that is perfect for an obituary. That is, that says, that says, this sucks. <laughs> Here is dead Daniel. Was there the whole time. <laughs> It's like it's weird because it's, it's like really it's like cute. he's it's like he's dead. It's like he's dead. Pop Don't him. put it next to me, please. No, no, no. You no. Will he sit up? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, <laughs> touch, is, touch, his hand, touch his hand. No, touch his hand. Touch his hand. It's so creepy. No. Yeah, that's uh, that's weird. Uh, come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he really is sort of falling apart at this point, but he's been sent down rivers, he got mauled by a bear. Like, this was all things we did to him during filming. It's and, like, really good, though. Look at the, look at the, look at the, the, the eyebrows yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just... It's strangely horrible. I don't know, I don't know what's happening to it at the end of the press tour, so if anybody, you know, wants it... Um, <laughs> maybe not. Actually, no. Given your enthusiasm, I feel like maybe you should not have this. <laughs> yeah. I have an infamous picture of me um, in my 20s, and I was just owning this look. I had a turtleneck, I had mom jeans on, I, had, I was wearing a fanny I think we've pack. Got the, we've got the picture here. Oh, no. There you are. <laughs> it's it's a know. strong look. It's, it's something. It's a and this oh. was this was you being serious, yeah? No, oh yes, yeah. I think I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is full on. Yeah. And are you aware that this has now become a sort of fancy dress outfit? <laughs> like people do this. They do this, yeah, yeah. yeah as a joke. Yes, like, uh, it's so crazy. Seth, Seth Rogen was on the show, yeah. and he showed us his version. Here's Seth Rogen as it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> uh, there, there's just a, a random man, but very good eye for detail. See, <laughs> he's, he's got the tissue, the tissue under the elbow, which you have here. It's because my, <laughs> let me just give the audience context as to what that is. The, the, what I had my arm on was very dirty. So I thought, I need a tissue, please, to protect the turtleneck. Yeah. That That's sense. it. That you sense, must have a right? beautiful home. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And uh, it's not just adults, no, young fans are attracted to it as well. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> and and again, again with the tissue, I love the Rolex. The bit, tissue, right? yes. Yeah. And actually, uh, some other people have done it as well. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, look, <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. I want to party. Got to party with those guys. And then you've got a friend. Is it a, a friend of yours who's a psychic? Oh, God. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, this is my favourite bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how one story comes out and then it obliterates. So it's the well, defining thing. In fairness, oh, yeah, other actors going, OK. I want to hear more. I want to hear... Well, look, yeah, I did... Um, meet a psychic who's a friend of mine and I was seeing her she's got lots and lots of different um, strings to her bow and she does healing and she does um, other things and but she also has a, um, a talent for mediumship 
And as I was seeing her for something else, she said, oh, Margaret is here. Does that mean anything? And I, and I said, yes, it does. And I suddenly thought, well, I've got... If I'm playing... before you get... Before I had been asked to play her. I hadn't actually said yes at that point. Oh. And uh, I said, well, yeah, no, actually, if you've got the horse, you know, the horse's mouth, it's in the room, you're not going to say yes. no, actually, you know. So, and so I said, um, yeah. And I asked, I said, would you mind if I played you? And uh, the, she said, Despite I prefer you. Despite what she the said, answer was. No, she <laughs> said, well, no, she did say, I, I think you're a better idea than the other actor. Oh, the other idea, well, the other, you know, the other. Who was the other? They never told me the other, the other possibility. But it, whether it was but or not, the sound of a lone gunshot right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But there are. It was a very typically a typical Margaret thing in the. Because you had met her. I have met her. She has a. She had a way. Oh yeah, a couple of times. This? Yeah, yeah. You see, you not. But um, <laughs> but there's. She had a little way of sometimes complimenting you and putting you down at the same time. She was, um, and the fact that she said, oh, "Yeah, I think you're better than the," other. it was just like you never knew where you were with her. Then she came through with another note, which was useful. Whether it came, whether it was true because the psychic was fantastically intuitive, or there really was the ghost of Margaret telling me, I don't, I don't know. But the note was good, and she said, "Get the smoking right." Okay. And I smoked in a particular way, and always remember that the wow. cigarette holder is as much a weapon for expression as anything else. And that was a good note. And she was somebody who was innately dramatic. If you're royal, you can't necessarily talk much. You're a walking icon. You're a walking... So she was very, she was very I think, <laughs> conscious about the silhouette and whatever she did with her body, and particularly with her hands. And so, you know, anyway. Am I waxing? No, I no. love you. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I, you don't uh, believe in talking well, to dead people? No. I didn't say <laughs> that. And I can't end tonight without talking about probably the most iconic scene you've been in the scene in Alien when the, the creature bursts out oh, of yes. the, the, the chest, John Hurt's chest. You've spoiled it for me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to ruin your experience. Um, oh, I can remember. Oh, we got told to be quiet. Um, when we went to see it, because we were screaming too much. <laughs> no, so, and you've got to think, it's meant to make you scream. We obviously overdid it slightly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but... What kind of gang were you with, Graham? Well, you know, uh, no, but I read, and, and this seems incredible, I mean, I think you and other cast members talking about the filming, that in that scene with John Hurt, that you weren't entirely clear about what was going to happen? We knew what happened in the script. We knew that something came out of John Hurt's chest because his line was, oh my goo <laughs> <laughs> yes. And he never delivered that line. Um, he came up with something better. But when we got down to the set, everyone was in raincoats, which should have given us a clue. We knew that this would happen, but we did not know how they would make it happen because this was before CGI. So everything you see in the, in the film is actually happening. Mm. And I, I think there's a great master where you see the whole cast kind of going, because something does happen. It happened effortlessly with just a few, I don't know, hoses and things like that. And, and we're all just astonished because it was so real. Well, look, we think we worked out how it was done, right? Really? Yeah. <laughs> so we have a prop. We have a prop. So if we want to come over and check it out to tell us if this is how it's done. Oh. So come with me. Now, Sandy, you've never seen the... Do you want no. to be John Hurt? I don't know. Is it a good part? Yes. Oh. You can be John Hurt. It's memorable. So, uh, basically, this is... I'll take this off here. We go like that. There's a little seat in there. Oh, lovely. Thank you. So you hop on there. Now, it's you put your little... Uh, not little. You're it's just true. your arms. <laughs> your, oh, I'll show you in. There you go. Oh. My arm's in here. There we go. In, into the little sleeves there. <laughs> OK. <laughs> is this... Is this sort of what it was like? It's exactly the way it was. Yeah? Oh, exactly. Oh! I love Sigourney, cos she's... She's, she's humouring us. <laughs> now, Sandy, you've been very good. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but... But, no, it, if you get into your character... He's having... We're having breakfast, okay. and suddenly he starts coughing. Right. And he can't stop coughing, okay. and then suddenly <coughs> something starts to burst out of his chest, and, uh... Okay, so... Yeah, so, it's exactly so you're how it he, In the end, he's, he's in terrible pain. We're going a bit hysterical. Is this right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, right. so you're thrashing around. Just move a leg. 
The trashing. <laughs> okay. 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 We're doing a bit of screaming and maybe moving backwards. Yeah. 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 Ah! Not bad. <laughs>